Imagine, last few minutes of the game, a foul... and a free kick. Your coach calls for a sub. You look over at the bench, and the sub is wearing these. What's up guys, Vu the Voyager here with my brother Ving. Today we're gonna try out the best non-soccer shoe for free kicks. All right, so Ving, which shoes do you think will be the best at taking free kicks and why? Uh, I think probably the Vans. I'm just a Vans guy, white Vans every day. Damn, Daniel, back at it again with the white Vans. So I think it's probably the easiest because I'm used to it the most. All right. I think, dark horse candidate, these loafers, these loafers, all right, look at this design. So you got the no lace sock feel, similar to a lot of the new cleats nowadays. Grips the foot, easy to get under the ball, you get that curve in, dress shoes all the way. Oh, show, them, show them the bottom, the bottom. Oh, the bottom? Look at that traction. Look at this traction. <laughs> all right, so here's the standard that we're looking for. Before we get started, don't forget to go down, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new cool videos coming up. And also, if you have any plugs at Nike or Adidas, come out and sponsor your boys just in case we mess up any of our shoes out here. Let's get started. <laughs> Not bad, you get, you get the little spin on it. I got underneath the ball so the, the flat bands aren't, aren't too bad so far. <laughs> try out the Tim just in case you're on a construction site and you want to kick the ball around a little bit. I feel like, uh, I feel like I'm wearing clown shoes. Let's, let's see how this goes. <laughs> That's actually pretty decent. That wasn't bad. <laughs> it's the steel toe. The steel toe really gives you that power. That was almost really good. Woo. You see that? You see that? What you, the curve? That might be better than the Vans. <laughs> Honestly, that might have been my best free kick today. <laughs> For all you hypeys out here, we got the Jordan 1s. A lot of people think Jordans are a basketball shoe, but a lot of people didn't know that back in the day when Neymar was growing up, he said he would play in Jordan. Uh, so these are the Shadow 1s. Couldn't get our hand on a pair of uh, Off-White 1s or Travis Scott 1s. So we couldn't use them for these, this video, but if Jordans are good enough for Neymar, we should be able to hit some free kicks with them, right? Oh, you guys. That's not terrible. Wouldn't go over a wall, that's the problem. Yeah, you would have to curve that one around the wall. All right, so check out the drip. It really completes the outfit. Even if, even if it doesn't perform well, look good, play good, that's all that matters. We uh, need a little bit more direction. The the shoe doesn't really curve that much, so I can't get can't get my foot around it. All right, so we're gonna try the the uh, Sperry Boat shoes, big time frat star lifestyle shoe. So uh, kicking around with the uh, fraternity brothers, this is what you want to use. All right, 
boat shoes are the best so far. So if you're ever out at sea, you want to kick around, it's very boat shoes. All right, next we got the uh, Vapor Maxes. So these ones are interesting because they kind of remind me of a cleat. They have this, this kind of bottom that looks like it would be like a cleat and the top is also the fly knit, pretty similar to a cleat. So I, I have a strong feeling about this one. Wow, these feel interesting. Okay. Nope. All right. yep, that's it's like you're like leaving your the shoe because it puts you forward on the toe. Yeah. So you feel like you're gonna jump out of the shoe. Oh, I'm getting no no lift whatsoever out of these. It's basically basically like kicking barefoot. Nope, not the one. So we're gonna go with our uh, predicted front runners right here. So these are the dress shoe loafers. If you got the Gucci loafer varieties, even better. So I would wear these shoes to work. But maybe after work you go straight to a kick around, throw these babies on, let's, let's have a look. <laughs> these are actually sick. These are great. Good for like a like a normal shot. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, now we got the Jordan 11, but check this out. Little secret I got for you guys. Look at that sole. Hyper venom. That's right. We took that from a cleat, so these babies might pack some power. Honestly, that wasn't bad. <laughs> it must be the uh, the hyper venom bottom. That's really getting me that that curvature, that Neymar free kick skill. That what is what is Neymar like a 87 free kick on FIFA? It might be a 90. Okay. Maybe a 90. <laughs> I thought. For a second. I thought that felt really nice. Let's see if we can take the king of the court to the king of the field. LeBron, LeBron James. James. Let's check out these shoes. I feel like I'm on like on my toes already, but I, I feel taller. I'm probably like six feet now, six one. I can probably ball. Six two. Yeah, around Ronaldo height. You probably dunk. Hey. <laughs> He's like six four. Oh, not terrible. I honestly thought I would be off balance. So we got Adidas's most comfortable shoe here, the Ultra Boost. So these, these kind of feel like a sock. So I'm thinking hopefully that we can hit some pretty sweet bangers out of this one. Yeah. <laughs> if that went far down. Oh man. I don't know, these feel pretty good. No lift, no lift. Oh, it was coming down, it was coming down. Oh boy, that was bad. That was bad. All right, we got the uh, the slides. These are Adidas' most comfortable slides, if you know, you know. So let's put them on. Let's say you're ready for soccer practice, but maybe you forgot your cleats. Throw these bad boys on, have a go. So here are the takeaways from today. We got our best shoe, the Sperry's, and our worst shoe, the Vapor Maxes. So the Sperry's kind of a surprise, um, different than our predictions, but the Sperry's, you saw us hit some absolute screamers with this. You got solid the, shots. Yeah, we got solid shots. We had some, some great curve added, some great lift and dip added to the ball. The Vapor Maxes, kind of a surprise to me because I mean, you look at them, they look like soccer shoes. I've been wearing these before and people are like, oh, you must play soccer. But like the top fly knit provides like a sock feel so you don't really get the power. It's a little tall. Yeah. I, it's a little I, on the toe. Yeah, the I, I think it's too tall so you don't really get the dig underneath the ball. 
um, our, our predictions. So the dress shoes and the Vans. Uh, vans were actually not that good. They're good if for just like shooting low shots, but you can't get over a wall with them. Yeah, so you could probably get some good, they're like nice and flat, so you get some good lace shots. The dress shoes honestly didn't perform as as bad. I think they performed I mean, pretty they like up to par. Well. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so our, our ultimate takeaways, I'll, I'll drop a little tier list right here. But yeah, so Sperry's, Masters of the Game, and uh, Vapor Max's, Sorry, Nike, but you're gonna have to make a better hybrid lifestyle soccer cleat fitness shoe for free kickers. That's it for us today, guys. Catch you guys on the flip side. Boo the Voyager, out.